All right, guys, so I've been printing off some of this multi-board. I saw it on, uh, I, I don't even know whose channel it was, and they had it all over their wall and all their stuff nice and neatly organized. I'm like, you know what? I want that. So I went into the uh, their, their website, which is super, super intuitive. You can go in, you can design your own wall space. They'll spit everything out for you. It's, it's a really, really great product. It's a great site. I would recommend it to anybody. But the problem with it is that, so these three panels, I printed them all on top of each other, which we'll get to in a minute. But these three panels took just under eight hours to print. And I need uh, a lot more. Uh, 369, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I need 15 of these panels for the section that I'm doing, not to include all the little connectors and the fasteners, whatever, and then everything else that I want to put on there. So I'm going to have my printer cranking out. It said about three days worth of printing just for this little project that I'm doing, just for a section above a 46 inch uh, um, workbench uh, toolbox. So I went in and I saw some settings. I saw a couple other people talking about how to print this out. This is matte black PLA. How to print this out in three sections. Okay, so there's three of them here. One on top of the other without having to print one, stop it, print another, stop it, print another, stop it. So I went and I printed this overnight. Well, of course, one of my spools ran out and it thought it was a snag and didn't switch over to the other. Anyway, this, this was supposed to be completed about 11 o'clock this morning. It's now like 8.30 at night and it's still not done. Well, it just finished for these three panels. Anyway, I digress. So these panels are all three stacked on top of each other. I will go over the settings in a minute that I used, but let's go ahead and see just how well these come off the plate and just how well they come apart. Now looking around the outside, I can see a little bit of warping on two of the points here. I don't know if you can see them or not, or if it's gonna let you see them, but this one here, and I think this one here. Anywho, let's get some of that ASMR. Mm, nice. I use the regular uh, PTF, not PTFE, what is it? PIE, the uh, textured plate, and I put glue on it because I was having lifting issues with some of my prints coming off with, I have the glacier plate, which is going now. I had some issues with it, so I took that down and washed it. I washed this one too, but I put some uh, glue stick on it just to, just to be sure. All right, now, will these come apart? I did not use a different material on the interface layer. I was gonna use PETG, that's that's exactly what I was going to do. The problem is that, that this grid is, is a nine by nine, and you can see on this plate where it was, there was no place for the prime tower. So I, I couldn't use it. So there are some settings that you can use that I'll go over when I get back to the slicer, where you can print these, trying to get the light right, where, you can print these on top of each other without an interface layer and they're supposed to come apart. They're separated by one layer and um, a layer of ironing on the base portion. So moment of truth, we're gonna see if these things actually come apart. Oh, this is, oh, this is gonna suck if these don't come apart. All right. Oh, oh, I think they're coming apart. I think, it, I think they're coming. All right, we got one off. There's a little bit of stringing. If, if it's gonna let you see it here in some of these, whatever. I'll just hit it with a torch or I'll just peel it off. And this side's a little ugly, but this is the side that's gonna go up against the wall, so I don't really care. You can see that these are gonna be the, the bottom portions and you can, maybe, let's see if I get off to the side here. You can see these are flat, whereas these are gonna interlock with other plates. You can see it flat on the bottom. So these are the bottom, bottom three. So I got one more that I'm gonna need to pull apart. Have you guys noticed too that when you're 3D printing, all your nails seem to be jacked up because you pop stuff off the plate with them or you're digging in between parts? Yeah, my, um, 
this is no no kind of beauty channel or anything, but my nails, it just, it's not good for my nails. Okay, so what I did to loosen them up, I twisted them a little bit. I just kind of twerked them a little bit. Not trying to break them, I'm just trying to break them apart. Just like I'm flexing the plate. Now, got a little gap where they broke apart. There we go. So, okay. That worked super well. Like I said, I got a little bit of this string and stuff, and I'm gonna say that's probably the interface layer where it created that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna hit this with a torch and um, and clean it up. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that other than the amount of time that these took. It's also partially my fault because these are nine by nines. I did the maximum that my printer plate would do. But yeah, yeah, otherwise I'm, I'm pretty happy with these things. I can't wait to get them up on the wall. I'm gonna do a bunch of different colors for the connector pieces. I'm gonna do the black and orange because obviously that's my, my branding colors. All right, so let now that I got these all apart and I see that they turned out really good, Let's go back to the computer here and I'm gonna show you the settings that I used and how exactly I took these and stacked them on top of each other and I was able to take them apart without any issues. So now we're back over to the computer. It's a day later, shirt change later. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I stacked multiple, um, multiple objects on top of each other. Uh, control, Z control zero. Shortcut for anybody who's messing around here in uh, Bamboo Studios. If like you want to zoom in on this plate, where you see how it's locked there, or you want to zoom in on that one, it's locked over here. Uh, control zero, and I'm assuming it's command zero on a Mac too. It zooms you into the plate that you want. All right. So I have this huge project that I'm doing. I'm doing these multi boards up on my wall and I need to print all of this stuff, all of this stuff over here, okay? Well, I needed um, three of these center boards and I have them stacked on top of each other. And like I said, I can either print them one at a time. They take about three and a half hours each or I could stack as many as I, well, as many as the printer can handle on top of each other. And um, they're gonna, uh, it's gonna print overnight or, or whatever. So I don't have to get up. I don't have to change it. I don't have to worry about anything like that. So. The, the quickest and, or well, there's there's two separate ways to do it, okay? There's one, one way is with a an interface filament, and that's probably the best way to do it. Like if I'm printing these in PLA, um, if I were to use PETG, that's as a, a as the interface layer, they, they would pull right apart. I've done that on some other prints. The problem with that, with what I've seen here, is you see how that these have my uh, build plate maxed out, right? I can't stick them on there because there's no place for the for the prime tower. I could turn it off, but then we're going to run into all kinds of issues. So this is the second method that um, I heard about using. So to do that, I went and I tried it and it worked really, really well. I'll show you how I did it here with, uh, with, with this one, since I only need one of these. So you're going to take your image, you're going to Copy and paste, or you're gonna right click, just hit clone. It's one copy for now. So I've got this one copy over here, floating out here in, in space. I want it directly on top of, of the other one, but I also need to merge them first. So just control click on them both, and then you go right click and merge. So over here in your objects panel, you're gonna see there's an assembly. If I were to click off and try to click on each individual one, it's not, it's not gonna let me do it. And it's gonna move them both, okay? So in order to grab one of those at a time, you have to go to the assembly and you pick one. That's the one I want. All right. So you right click on it and you hit center because you want it in the center of where your, where your object is, okay? Now you have, or in the center of the plate. So you have them both centered. They're both gonna be directly on top of each other. Now, to get that to stack on top of the other one, you can't simply just move the Z axis and move it, right? It's gonna just, it's there, floating in the middle of nowhere. And if you were to slice this, it's gonna give you an error saying, okay, you've got cantilevers or or what, oh shoot. I didn't mean to hit slice all, I just meant to slice that one plate, just to show you. 
the error that it's going to give you. So we're slicing this one plate. There's empty space. Can't print it in empty space. So what you do, you select your merged pieces and you go up here to the assembly. You're going to have face to face assembly, which is what you want. Now you have this blue one here, which is the first face, which is going to be the fixed face. So that's the one that it's not moving. So you want to pick that's going to be this. Okay. That blue, it's going to highlight. You know, there you go. Should be able to see it. The second one is going to be the pink. And that's going to be the one that moves to it. What? There. All right. Now, we don't want to do the flip, uh, the flip by face two. So the parallel distance that you want, I'm printing at 0.2 millimeters. So I want 0.2 millimeters of gap there. I'm going to do 0.2 and now we're good to go. So now we have an interface layer. You have you have it set up now, so that's that's not the la that's not your final step. What you want to do next is go to your quality. You're going to change your seam position to random because you don't want all the seams to line up. It's going to make it weak when you go to try to pull it apart. So you want them random. You want to iron the top surface so it's going to print that first that first pad, and then it's going to iron the top. So it's going to make a nice smooth surface, and then it's going to do the bottom of the top panel. And in doing so, that's how you're going to be able to pull them apart like I showed you. Next thing in your strength, you want to go to wall loops. You want to change that to three. This is coming straight um, straight from the multi-board guys. This is how they, they say that you want to print these. And then when you go to slice this plate, it's going to take a minute. They like said this is heavy. And I'm running my computer's running a um, RTX 4090 in it. And you can tell there's there's some uh, graphically intense stuff going on, especially now that I'm streaming too, but it 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 even takes it a minute chugging along through it. Cool. And there we go. See now you, it says it's gonna take eleven hours print. Now you are gonna get this warning. You know, it seems that the assembly has a floated cantilever. Uh, please reorient it. It's not a red one, so it's not gonna stop you from printing. So that that error is okay. Go ahead and you can hit print. And that's how you can stack multiple objects on top of each other. I don't need that um, that many for these pieces. That was just an example. So I'm going to you know, go through and undo all that. There we go. So like I said, these are all, this is all that I'm gonna need for my um, my wall grid project or my wall board, multi-board project. I'm just doing a, it's like a four, it's a two foot by almost four, two foot by three and a half foot. And this is what I'm going to need. It's about three and a half days worth of printing, which kind of stinks, but I've got this done, which is three panels. I have one panel of this done. I need two more. And then I got to do the rest of this. So it's going to take me a little bit, um, but I mean, it is what it is. And this is where I brought it up. Like, you know, man, I really need a couple more printers because I'm, I really want to ramp this stuff up.